Bergmans? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, dear. Okay. Let's do a little bit more advanced. Okay, so now. I'm applying a little bit of pressure on the suboccipital area. Yeah. It's that little suboccipital triangle. I know. Just a little. 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 And checking the sutures. Man, that is so much better. There's almost no inflammation. Just a couple of days ago, that was super inflamed. Okay. I know, dear. I know. I know. I know. Here, here. Look at this side. Look at this side. Thanks. That makes it easier. <laughs> tendon. And right now it's an increase in tone. And I do it 10 seconds, second vibration. Because all upper motor neuron there's like an increase in tone. And a lot of times they'll even put them in plastic like ankle thingies. And that's the worst thing to do because man you want to you don't want to limit the motion because that's going to limit afferentation or sensory input to the brain. And you can even see how her legs are a little straighter after that. I know, huh? Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go, dear. Here we go, dear. Okay, now, so after we've done that sensory input, we're going to turn her upside down to stimulate the semicircular canals. She thinks it's, like, really cool and fun. <laughs> Ooh, the giggling? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, when I'm going down, I'm flexing around. When I'm going up, I'm flexing her the other way. So we're getting this flexion, that lateral flexion, so we're getting more sensory input. So getting that more sensory input is fantastic. But can you imagine getting the sensory input with her head inverted and then coming up? So she's getting all of this different sensory stimulus. Here you go, my dear. I know. Cool, huh? 